Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, if you can see from the title, and that's if you don't like or looking at the title, I have white shoes right here. And I'm weird. I don't like plain white shoes. No, actually I do. I like these plain white, but my mom says that it's cool. I've been wanting to decorate my shoes before, and she got these really cheap. And so I could get another pair of just white. But I'm decorating them. Um, one is almost done, or kind of done, because I did it at my brother's um, meet. So, yeah, this is it. It's kind of like... Yeah. <laughs> so it's a sun. Then there's just a, this red, orange, yellow because of the sun. The sun. And then there's a flower and some grass. I think it looks bad. But I can deal with it. So I'm going to do this one the same. But I'm scared that it's not going to turn out the same because... Do you know, some people don't have the things that turn out the same unless that they're a really good artist. So I'm kind of showing you guys how to do it if you like how I do it. So, yeah. So, first, you grab a red marker. Because the outside is red. Like, there's only a little bit. So, I'm going to finish mine up and just then show you it. So. <sighs> Try not to mess up, but I'm not an artist. So, it's okay if I mess up. But I also have to wear these to school. So I'm scared that people are going to make fun of me, like a girl in my class, just because she doesn't understand that it's hard. Sorry, I was also watching James Charles and Rachel. Before this, I hope I say, hey, sisters. I'm so sorry, but I probably won't. But if I do, mm -hmm, thanks. Thank um, James Charles, because I used to always be obsessed with him. Now I can watch his videos and not yell, Mom, I need a poster of James Charles. Charles. And her be like, you know, James Charles is very annoying with saying, hi, sisters, and I'll say, not to me. But, you know, it's how it is. So, I just do, like, this red on the rim and stuff. And then I take orange and... Wait, I need to look at this. So, I start from there and just go up. I need to put some music or a movie on because I'm getting very bored. He said he liked a good time. One second, almost done. Okay, I just did it. Real quick, I'm almost done. I have the other side to do, but I'm going to put on a movie because it's really boring. And it's very, like, not sounding. So we're going to just put it on and then go right here so it turns on. Tilt it's turned on. There's the TV. It's starting to turn on. Well, we're going to watch something on my neck. Fleeks. Yeah, we're doing Fuller House. I love Fuller House. Can I pick him? Oh, I pick him. Thanks. He's smart. He's charming. Can share jeans. There's just one teensy little problem. Ramona, don't be such a nitpicker. You're always finding faults. Well, he's gay. What? That doesn't make any sense. He's a 17-year-old 
aspiring event planner who wears fashionable scarves indoors. Oh. Oh, is right. I'm sorry, honey. You were right. We should never have meddled. No. Actually, I'm glad you did this time. Casey, help me realize how fantastic my mom is. There is the orange you go. I'm trying to show you. So you start where you ended with the red and go up around because there's this tiny little thing. And I'm sorry, I already used the yellow because I went ahead and I forgot. But you stop, like, go over a little bit and do it on the other side too. And then you take yellow and you. Go from both ends and put in the mitt, like in between, like that, like so. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? So what do you think? Well, I mean, look at those arches. Uh, no bunions or corns. I'd say you have the foot of a seventy-year-old. I'm sixteen, you flat. Do today. And then it should look like this. I kind of messed up, so. <laughs> DJ, what are you doing here? This is going to be close for you to hear me. Plus, you have to admit that was pretty awesome. <laughs> I have something important you need to know. Why couldn't it wait until we got home? Because you need to know now. Then I took this pink. I did this. I get distracted. Go. Don't tell me, go tell him. Seth, if he's going to be the co parent of this child, then you have to tell him what you need from him. Now. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Wait, Seth. Okay. I'm sorry we fought. I just I want what's best for you. I love you. I love you too. Oh, uh, one more thing. So, in Inception, I messed up again, by the way. So, if you're an artist, I love you. 
Not like you how you think. But like, oh my gosh, I want to be you because then you could decorate. Also, if you are an artist, please draw me or draw something like this on your shoes. I'm not. Look at that. It's bad. So this was my first. Let me put it. This is my first foot. It's pretty good. This is my second. I need you to be there as a full-time father in our baby's life, okay? So please, exactly. please don't take that job. I already turned it down. But DJ said you were packing a bag. Yeah, the go bags for the hospital. Oh, there's all your toiletries and your clothes. So you were never planning on leaving? Of course not. We will never miss the birth of our kid. Freaking DJ, put a meddler. I want to be there with you every step of the way. I want to be the father that you want me to be. I love you, Steph. Oh, come on, I got one other thing to show you. We could raise the baby in the kitchen. <laughs> or we could disassemble the crib and take it down in pieces. See, this is why we're so good together. <laughs> Babe? Yeah? Is Mrs. Doubtfire real? <laughs> I've been watching it yeah. ever since I was young. A sloth? How rude. You picked out my prom dress. Uh, no, I picked out your prom dress. You're just going to look gorgeous in it. And with what we paid for it, it'll be your wedding dress, too. Prom brings back so many memories. <laughs> Wait, the punch was spiked. You know what? Actually, no memories whatsoever. But the arresting officer did say I had a really good time. Oh, I remember my first prom. I went with a very nice Scottish boy named Ewan McGregor. Oh, no relation. This is the one who played Obi Wan Kenobi in Star Wars. Anyway, I'm glad Casey and I decided to go together. We do not need dates to have a good time. Oh, then the more she says that, the more I believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Let's go upstairs and work on our photo booth poses. Oh, I got one. We can build on that. <laughs> this is going to be a great prom. The theme is under the sea. That's amazing. Do you have thingamabobs? I've got plenty. Ooh. And I designed these chaperone badges. This allows me to get into any prom without a warrant. Plus, Cosmo and I did a full sweep at the gym, and the good news is, Cosmo didn't sniff out any contraband. Yeah, the bad news is, he got into the donuts, and he's riding a wicked sugar high. Yeah, he got the last maple bar. We are not speaking. Too soon, dude. Oh, and guess who was just elected head chaperone? Oh, I can't wait. It was me! No one else was even at the meeting, were they? 
Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> Siege, I think you're taking this whole chaperone thing a little too seriously. Well, I just want everyone to have a safe and wholesome night. It only takes one bad apple to spoil the prom for everyone. Did you ever think you might be that apple? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not showing you what I'm doing. I'm so sorry, but I am doing something. So. It's a prom proposal. Will you be my primate prom mate? Mm, this is super cute. I hate cute. Then I wish I could stop what happens next. Okay, prom is an archaic representation of the So, I did a softball because I'm in With softball. And then I drew some um, blue lines on the side because I want to do maybe. two basketballs because that's also another sport that I do. I'm the only freshman on the team. All the other guys have dates. I can't show up to prom looking like a loser. You realize you're saying all this while just like a gorilla. Please, Rocky, this is a really big deal for me. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yes! But I'm not gonna have fun. No one will. My mom is chaperoning. Okay, everybody say sweet cheese! Sweet, sweet cheese. cheese! Yeah, we're gonna do that again. Um, maybe a little sparkle this time, Wednesday Adams? This is my sparkle. I get photo approval before you post anything, Max. Aw, uh, I look amazing in all of these. Here we go. The Uber's waiting. Oh, it's Ron and a Buick. Oh, I like that guy. He always has water. Uh, I can't believe our little girl is going to prom. I'm using rideshare. They grow up so fast. Just last week, I thought Casey was straight. before the baby comes. And we have the house to ourselves. What's our favorite way to have fun? A good cry. <laughs> okay, I've got beaches, terms of endearment, and steel magnolias. What are we missing? The notebook. <laughs> and we've got cauliflower, cucumbers, and carrots. What are we missing? Carrot cake. Ah. <laughs> Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Trust us, we hear ye. <laughs> Joey, why are ye here? He's here for me. <laughs> it was one year ago today that Joey suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of this chili master. We don't ask any follow up questions, we can just sneak right out of here. <laughs> I anticipated this, and I took the liberty of hiding the DVD player because we need chili jackets. Oh, believe me, you're constantly being judged. Well, today is the day I avenge my loss in the chili, chili palooza of chili. <laughs> you really want a rematch with a funny voice? On the racing circuit, my nickname is Fire Nando. And not just because of my history of fiery crashes and a mysterious skin condition. Oh, oh, oh. We are doing this. What name would you like me to put on your uh, second place trophy? <laughs> Seriously, you two, this is the worst trash talk I've ever heard. I'd so much rather be watching Deborah Winger die. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. I keep drawing this out, telling you. If I didn't know any better, I totally think we were under the sea. Hey, you know, before.
fun. Part two in the next video. No, no, I'm gonna just finish it, not um video, sorry.